Well, howdy folks! In this video we're going to take a look at this terminal I made in Unity which as you can tell prints out these cool interesting ASCII titles. It's a terminal that I made for a game that I'm making called System 32 which is an open world space shooter slash sandbox text adventure. Now, the idea in this game is that if you've got your gun shooting here like Peter Piper against your space invaders you can go into the terminal run some commands and all of a sudden you've got a serious sperm cannon. Now if you don't like how that sperm cannon works, you can mod it and you've got a static lightning from Diablo 2 gun. Now let's get into how I did this baby. Oh yeah! <laughs> and if we actually look at how a terminal works here, we have the spot where I can type. I am typing in the spot where I can type when I hit enter, the thing that I wrote stays there and the terminal says something back to me and then I'm given a new spot to type. So we need to recreate that behavior in Unity. Do not look in my restricted videos folder. Here's how you can do it, okay? Start off with a canvas, make a child game object of type panel. That's under UI panel. To the panel add a vertical layout group component that's going to ensure that everything stacks vertically as it's instantiated in this panel call this your command line container because it's going to contain all of your command lines and eventually you can add a scroll rect to your original canvas in order for this thing to scroll as the input grows larger there's two types of things you can have in a terminal don't worry about the scripting quite yet just start fiddling around with the style and make it look the way you want it. You can have the directory followed by the thing that the user typed and you can have the thing that the terminal said back after it interpreted whatever you typed. Each of these are just panel game objects that have a horizontal layout component on them. Once they look nice the way you want them to, you drag them into your assets prefab folder to save them as prefab so that you can instantiate them at your own will. From here, you can just copy paste this directory one and instead of putting text in here, you just replace it with an input field. Now in this input field, the user can type, I am a user, I am typing in your user input box. From there, they would hit enter and that string would be sent off to an interpreter. To the interpreter, 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 a C sharp script. Now the interpreter reads that string and it gives you a string back. The terminal says something back. First, before you can display that, you have to instantiate the thing that the user originally said. Okay, and then you can instantiate the thing that the interpreter said. Well, the problem is now you have this thing sitting here, so you have to change its transform order or its child order. So you just can say set uh, as last sibling and it will bring it down here and all of this stuff will get pushed up and then you just repeat the process blah, 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 blah. so as you can see I have under my original UI canvas this terminal panel a command line container panel and these all are just instances of those prefabs that I showed command line by command line by command line and if we look at their text, it's just these ASCII strings that trace out this image line by line. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and or liking the video. If you hated it, make sure that you dislike it. And let me know in the comments if you'd like a more in-depth or slower or dumbed down tutorial. If you want me to actually go into Unity and do this with you guys. Uh, because maybe it's something you're interested in having in your project. Thanks so much. Have yourself a wonderful weekend. I love all 10 of you. All 10.